What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about several different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 6. We'll be talking about Wolfpack. We'll be talking about Don Mancini's Chucky show in the third season that still has yet to be confirmed. And then we'll be wrapping this up talking about Transformers Rise of the Beast and that official trailer that came out. My thoughts on that and the project itself. So just to kick this off with Scream 6. So Scream 6 being the title or screen vi being the title of scream 6 has seemingly gained more than enough confirmation at this point thanks to this new discovery uh shout out to michael kennedy for this cool new find and if you haven't seen freaky please go check out his movie freaky so in a tweet it was revealed that by simply typing screamvi.com all together you get redirected to the highradiosilence.com website but what's cool about it is the fact that typing the rumored scream 6 title redirects you to that site slim similar to how typing scream 2022.com i believe also takes you to that site as well so scream vi will be the title and now it's just a waiting game for paramount or spyglass to make it official via an announcement with a poster reveal or even the first trailer which you should expect this month i'm really not going to get caught up in the title of this movie because the execution of it is really what matters more than its divisive title the reasoning behind them choosing this title might be lost on some but if they have a reason for why they're doing it hopefully it pays out well for them at the box office and again i think that what's going to be the most attractive about this is the fact that the poster itself will not have the vi separate but scream vi will hopefully and rightfully be highlighted in the dip in the m and then the last stroke of the 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 m being the i so the, the the dip being the v the last stroke being the i that can be represented in the m itself so if they do it like that that should also help them at the box office because i know just simply titling the movie scream six for a lot of people these days they think the further you number your entries that's going to be unattractive to certain moviegoers because they're going to think oh i have to watch five more movies prior to watching this one i'm not going to watch this i'm just going to watch this new movie that seems to stand on its own so we'll see how this works out for them at the box office i am fine with the title if you're not fine with the title you can let me know why down in the comment section below also try checking out going to that website because again if you type in screenvi.com it redirects you to that site for high radio silence just to touch on wolfpack wolfpack we know is this show that's coming to paramount plus next month with sarah michelle geller in a role that has everyone intrigued because she has her ties to buffy the vampire slayer and she's making a return to the supernatural genre with this show now this show was believed again to be at one point a spinoff of team wolf but it's not however there are still those thoughts out there that it's somehow tied to this team wolf movie that's coming out so we'll see what that all adds up to so miguel so share michelle geller has teased what to expect about her character and the show itself in a new interview with Dana geek wolfpack will follow the story of teenagers everett and blake as their lives have forever changed in the wake of a california california wildfire that awakens a terrifying creature geller stars as an arson investigator named named Kristen Ramsey, but details about her character are being kept under wraps for the most part. Gala revealed in a recent interview again with Den of Geek that she was drawn into the show by the strong writing, obviously, but seems to have especially taken a liking to how Jeff Davis is using the monsters of this show to speak on anxiety, isolation, depression, and other modern struggles facing teens more prevalently today like i guess the current trends of the problems teens are facing similar to how buffy used monsters to represent real world teen struggles at the time in the 90s she did also tease that her character is a mystery so i'm looking forward to seeing what this show can deliver because the trailer made it seem quite good I'm also expecting several homages to Buffy, of course, because of the fact Sarah Michelle Gellar being involved. There's no doubt they're not going to nod to what Buffy has done and how it paved the way for shows like what this is existing today. So I cannot wait to see Wolfpack. I am going to be doing some coverage on it when it comes out, probably recaps of the episodes. I'll have a review up because it's coming to Paramount Plus. So whenever I get to see the show prior to its release, I'll have a review up. If they release the episodes weekly, I'll do weekly recaps. Depends on how they drop the episodes. But just to jump into chucky season three so now don mancini has confirmed the fate of a chucky character in an interview last week with bloody disgusting i overlooked this so as many of us know chucky season two ended with tiffany being stalked by chucky in new york if i recall correctly i believe they were in new york the bell doll she and caroline had stolen from lexi's house was revealed to be a Chucky doll in disguise all along, which was why Tiffany couldn't place her soul into the doll in the end as well in that sequence, which was obviously a nod in reference to her attempts to revive Chucky at the start of Bride of Chucky. In the end of this episode, the Christmas episode, uh, Chucky raises a knife to Tiffany and the episode ends with her fate being left up in the air. I think the last thing we hear is her screaming. So Mancini has stated this, has, has stated this about the... Uh, 
fate of Tiffany when speaking of bloody disgusting. He says, sadly, all the Tillers are dead. Meg is dead. Jennifer is dead. They're com they're commensurating in heaven now, but Tiffany is still with us in human form. I think you'll enjoy the plan for Tiffany in season three. So if Tiffany is going to make it out alive, it seems that's pretty much all confirmed. If she's making it out alive, it isn't that shocking. She does have a lot of material they can cook up, especially if Nick, especially with Nika vowing to take her out as well. Because right before this huge reveal, Nika calls her up and makes it known that she sees where she is, even though Tiffany couldn't see her. She's spying on her. And Nika vows to get revenge on Tiffany. So in season three, if it happens, are there plans for Tiffany to be on the receiving end of a tag team effort to take her out by Caroline. I guess this would be a trio. Somehow, let's say they corrupt Caroline. Caroline, uh, Chucky, and Nika trying to take out Tiffany. For whatever reason, Caroline, of course, would just be someone who's being corrupted by Chucky more. So this would be Nika and Chucky trying to take out Tiffany for everything she's done wrong to them. I don't know how that would play out, but it seems like that's more than enough reason to keep Tiffany around after you set up an arc like that for Nika. You don't want to just get rid of her. So I'm not too shocked that she lived. But I want to end this by talking about this new Transformers trailer that just dropped for Rise of the Beast. Now, I myself have not been keeping up with this project. I have like just gently been staying up to date on the activity regarding it because I know this seems to have ties to or influences from the Beast Wars storyline. So I am excited to see how this is executed on screen. Judging from this trailer, this seems like this could be a nice sequel because I, I think it's serving as a sequel to Bumblebee. This seems like this could be another sequel an effort to reboot this series because I know a lot of people thought that they were going downhill with the last night and the one before that and you know the last few efforts from Michael Bay with the uh, Shia LaBeouf era of movies so I'm hoping that this can be another good reboot the footage showcased in this trailer that dropped today it looks like a very promising film because it's set in 1994 a pair of archaeologists from brooklyn come into an ancient conflict through a globe trotting adventure that ties in with three factions of transformers the maximals the predacons and the Terra the terracons i will say this the g1 designs combined with the cgi and them still trying to have the michael bay look design it looks a little weird I wasn't the only one who was thinking that. I've seen so many people say that, but the trailer itself seems very promising. So I cannot wait to see this movie and what it has to offer. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and there's a video in the description. I will have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.